No network coverage, one of the biggest annoyance of modern day connected life. But if we find this annoying, we should consider ourselves very fortunate. This is because even now there are close to a billion people who do not have access to proper mobile internet network. Also, only 10% of Earth's surface is covered by terrestrial cellular network. Now imagine if these millions of people can connect their cell phones to a satellite that is orbiting Earth. They will immediately gain some or all of the benefits that a smartphone gives us which we enjoy daily and take it for granted. Well, no need to imagine. Very soon, that could be reality and that brings us to the topic of this video. Hi viewers, welcome to this edition of Microwave Frequency Bands where we are going to understand direct satellite to cell phone network and see how it differs from the currently available terrestrial mobile network. Before going into technical details, let us look at some of the major announcements in last few months that shows how fast satellite to cell phone industry is developing. In the last part of this video series, we saw how different American mobile network operators are developing their 5G network and I had predicted at that time T-Mobile strategy will be the winner. That was three years ago when 5G was just launched and today that is exactly what had happened. But T-Mobile is not stopping there. Just few months ago, T-Mobile announced a joint agreement with Elon Musk's SpaceX where they aim to provide text and call services to existing smartphones when there is no cellular coverage available. Within weeks, smartphone makers Apple and Huawei announced that flagship mobile phones will have emergency feature that will allow them to send a text message via satellite where there is no regular cellular coverage. Also last month, American startup Link Global announced that it has secured regulatory approval in United States to operate its initial cell phone compatible satellite constellation. And also last month, another American startup AST Space Mobile launched their super large satellite named Blue Walker 3, a prototype satellite to test broadband speed connectivity to regular mobile phones. So all of a sudden it looks like this sector is taking off. But the concept of satellite phones or sat phones is not new. They have been available since 1980s. But even after being available for such a long time, sat phones have not found a widespread usage. So why there is so much excitement now? To answer this question, we need to understand how current cellular communication network, also known as terrestrial network works. Consider someone calling or sending a text. Their voice or text is converted into a frequency signal by the cell phone and is transmitted by an antenna which is inside the cell phone. This transmitted frequency signal is received by the nearest cellular tower. This cellular tower then converts this frequency signal to data. And since cellular tower is connected to other cellular towers, homes, office, etc. via physical cable, the data can be transmitted via these cables to anywhere necessary. On the receiving side, the opposite would happen. The cellular tower, which is closest to the receiver's cell phone, would receive this data. The cellular tower would convert this data to mobile frequency and send it to the receiver's mobile phone. The receiver's mobile phone would then receive this frequency signal and convert it into voice or text. For reference, some of the commonly used frequency for 2G, 3G and 4G are shown here and it depends on how each mobile network operator has designed their network. Now few things to remember from the second part of this video series about how mobile frequencies work. First, each of these towers can provide coverage only for a certain distance from the tower depending on the frequency. Also in that video, we saw in detail how difficult and expensive it is to connect remote areas while also providing good bandwidth. That is why even now, large part of United States has poor or no coverage as seen in this coverage map of top American mobile operators. And that is just in United States. There are millions of people around the world who have no cellular connectivity at all. Okay, now going back to our network diagram, instead of building thousands of cellular towers, what if we can do this? Connect the network to a base station that can link to a satellite and the satellite acts as cellular tower in the sky. Depending on the size of satellite and how far it is from Earth, it can provide coverage to thousands of miles. For example, 
ये सुपर लार्ज सैटेलाइट बीइंग डेवलप्ड बाय अमेरिकन स्टार्टअप ए एस टी स्पेस मोबाइल विच वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन मोर डिटेल इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो कैन प्रोवाइड कवरेज फॉर एरिया इक्वल टू टू इंडिया और हाफ ऑफ द साइज ऑफ यूरोप एज पर द कंपनी दिस मेक सैटेलाइट बेस्ड फोन very relevant in many places and applications though currently available satellite phone communication need bulky devices as we see here these satellite phones or sat phones have been available for a while here we can see example of two american companies global star and iridium we see that the network diagram is very similar to what we saw earlier but there are drawbacks with the currently available sat phones which has prevented it from being more widely used first Sat phones need to communicate to a satellite which are hundreds or thousands of miles away compared to a normal smartphone that communicates to a cellular tower which is just few miles away also a normal smartphone which we daily use are designed to talk and listen to a stationary cellular tower and not to a satellite which is moving at thousands of miles per hour this communicating with a fast moving satellite is a very big challenge To do this they need dedicated antenna with large batteries making them bulky expensive and not practical for daily use also the satellite that supports these sat phones are not designed for mass usage by millions of people and are also not compatible with regular cellular network this brings us to the original question we started with why there is more excitement now in this technology when we look at these drawbacks we see the problem lies in both sides the design of sat phones as well as the satellites both of which has not changed much since they were originally launched 40 years ago but lot of things has changed since that time we now have smartphones which are much more capable and cheaper the process and technology associated with building smartphones has also become much more capable same is the case with building and launching satellites It is now possible to deploy much bigger and capable satellites at much lower cost. All these makes it possible to overcome many of the technical challenges that was there when the current generation of sat phones were launched. Another reason is economics. Building and operating large scale satellites capable of communicating with mobile phones is expensive until now the market was not considered large enough to make it economically feasible. However, This is slowly changing. Mobile phones have become more and more capable and thus becoming an integral part of our life. So the expectation is more people will be willing to pay extra for being connected. Another reason is internet connectivity has become more and more important in government's point of view. World over, governments are allotting more funds to expand internet connectivity which in turn supports this market. Government's willingness also helps in making regulations more conducive to such new technologies all these factors are leading to big excitement in satellite to smartphone direct connectivity space and the entry of big companies like apple and spacex is only validating the value of this technology okay we will pause here in the next video we will see in detail how different companies are planning to launch their direct satellite to mobile connectivity service and we will also compare their capabilities and future plans all right guys thank you for watching this video